Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of the Crew Save Journey to the Top. Now today it's all about the Regen Reveal. It's the 3rd of March. Regen Reveal is on the 5th of March in England in the first season. And it's going to come as a surprise to you and a surprise to me at the same time if we get any good ones or not. But first we're going to show you the schedule and the league positions and how we'll be getting on. So we've been on a pretty dismal run overall. The last game that you've seen was... I believe Doncaster, so we'll take it from there. A bad run took us to the Doncaster game and then after that we had Gillingham at home and we won 3-1 with a Denzel Slagger hat-trick. A defeat away to Notts County, 2-1, and then an away win against Port Vale. Three defeats in a row to MK Dons, Colchester and Yeovil. That eventually stopping the rot again with a win at home to Fleetwood. And we're on the back of three defeats again to Barnsley, Swindon and Rochdale. And we have a couple of tough games coming up now with Scunthorpe, Preston, Bristol City and Oldham next. Not even drew a few games in amongst all that. But it's been quite terrible. Remember guys, the media projection is 23rd. And we'll just show you the league as it stands at the moment. As you can see there, we're 16th in the league. Uh, currently my job is untouchable so they obviously think I'm doing a good job and as you know in the last episode I got a new five year contract at the end of the CD end of the video. Now I guess that's not too bad if you're trying to make it a progress save sort of finish 23rd but you finish say 13th, 14th and then you say finish 10th and then try and maybe get into the playoffs or win the league after that but this is planning on being a long save, so the first season it's probably the one I enjoy least because it's not really your team, it's all about trying to get rid of the dead wood, etc. But yeah, that's where we stand in the league so far. So we'll just show you who has been doing okay from a team. Jack Carlson finally back after many games out. He's only played Three games for us in total since we signed him. He had four months out, four or five months. But he all seems to be injured, kind of like real life, so we'll get rid of him as soon as possible. We did bring in another player on loan, Jack Barnby from Manchester United. He has played five games and he has got two assists so far. Not done a great deal, but he's got some great starts to be play at this level and play as the winger for me. He will rotate on the left. And probably my best player is um, Laurie Delaval. 40 games in total, only got 12 goals, but he, until recently, he's now playing an advanced forward role because I'm trying to get more goals out of him. But he was playing in the deep line forward role, and there's been a lot of tinkering with the formation due to the bad run I've been on, and I just can't seem to get one right. I keep tinkering a lot of things and changing my player instructions, team instructions. I don't know if that's just till I get settled, until I get the team I want, or a team that I feel is stronger than bottom half of the league. But yeah, so according to the board we're doing well so far, but personally I don't think we're doing too well and I'm not really happy with all them defeats. So we're just going to play on here, as you can see Thursday March the 5th, according to a few sources that I checked out, that is the date of the first regen reveal. Of course that happens every year, but I believe it changes by a day or so every year. But even still, March 5th, that's I believe about a week earlier than usual. Because I think it's around March 11th in previous football managers. But we will see, we'll just wait to get to that date now. And hopefully, because in previous football managers I have had a few good ones. I remember last year playing this crew for about three seasons. I ended up selling two regens for about 9 million to Tottenham and they were really really good so all I'm hoping for is one but we will have a look and we'll see if they're any good or what so just one day away now of course our next game at home to Scunthorpe who are 11 I would expect them to be a little bit higher actually in the league home games are crucial. We're only three points above the relegation zone, so the home games are massive. So 
So I hope to sign a few players on a free transfer in the upcoming second season on Bossman's. That's probably where I'm going to look and probably loans also for next season. But I can't imagine I'll get too much money staying in this league. But remember, at this level, there's a lot more to it than actual stats and attributes. And a lot of things that people don't look at is really the season before. Instead of just looking at the stats or the star rating, which I don't always trust, and you'll find out here in a second on the regen day. But check how they've done the previous season. That kind of means a lot. And in my Red Bull Leipzig save, that kind of what I did with a lot of the signings. I kind of checked how they did, and that's what made me sign these players how you done in previous seasons okay so here we go this is the youth intake from Dado Grady he's been at Crew Alexandra for about 25 26 years something like that the old dog Dado Grady he's got a fantastic reputation when it comes to the youth players so view candidates and as you see we'll use the stars I don't really trust them to start with, I will look at all the players, even the ones with half star. But judging by that, it looks pretty good. Bear in mind, guys, I've never actually looked at them before, so we will see. We'll check all players individually. So first, we'll go to Christian Rogers, half star, age 15. And he plays up front, but he doesn't look too promising. The bravery and determination stand out. But apart from that, for a striker, he offers very little. So we will pass on Christian Rogers. Jack Lloyd, right back. He is one star. We will look at him. Aggression, work rate, pace, stamina, agility and balance are his standout ones. But again, nothing to shout about. I mean, I like my, my fullbacks to be late and baiting-esque. Like, good crossing, good dribbling good pace and he doesn't have any of that he does play as an inverted wing back which basically means when other players are pushing for the forward he will come into the middle of the park and almost plays like a secondary centre midfielder just a little tip for you in case you haven't actually read it yourself Shane France midfield left attacking midfield left again I want them to be good at crossing dribbling and pace standout Stats are determination, flair and leadership. But like the previous two, I will pass on Shane France. Stuart West, a right back, one star. Other than bravery and work rate, he offers pretty much zero. So, I'm not going to take up on him, Stuart West. Again, these are the worst ones, guys. So, we've still got to get all the way to the top. So we'll hopefully pick up one or two good ones. Gary Poole. I think he plays centre-back. Yep. Now, this guy's got some decent physicals. His balance, his jumping, his stamina, strength. As well as determination, work rate, teamwork, aggression, bravery. They're good. I think even just to put in my youth team, this one could be okay. I'm going to offer... A contract to Gary Poole. I'll just offer a youth one. I won't offer full time. I'm not saying he's good or he's going to make it. But even if it fills the numbers, I think he could do okay. So here's a strange one, guys. There's a goalkeeper, two and a half stars, age 16, called Ben Foster. Well, what do you know? He's a bit eccentric with 12, reflexes 11. Determination 17, he doesn't look too great. I think we will pass on Ben Foster. Sadly, not similar to the West Brom goalkeeper. Okay, right midfielder, Joe Neville. Let's have a look at him. Can he be like the other Nevilles, Gary and Phil? No is the answer to that. Some decent physicals, but other than that, he doesn't really offer a lot, so I will be passing on him. Getting to the better ones here, hopefully. Sean Neal. Striker come midfield right. Nah, there's not a lot going on there. There's some pretty poor ones. You know, I was just checking them really to say, is my assistant manager, that's his recommendations, are they right? 
No, they're not. They're Dario Grady's recommendations, sorry. But basically I was saying, are they right? Is he right in them star judgings? But it appears he is so far. Because sometimes you can't trust the stars. You judge on your own attributes, stats, or general players, what they've done the season before as well. So the next one is a central defender called Joe Wells. Three star. Now he looks not too bad. He's got 12 marking, tackling 14, work rate 15, determination 14, aggression 12, and some very good physical stats with exception to his strength and pace. I think he can be worth a go. He's unambitious, which doesn't really bode well for me then, I guess. But we won't offer full time, we'll just offer a youth contract. That is pretty much what you don't want to see, guys. Unambitious. God. He's only 16, he's got no ambition, and he wants to play for a professional football club. James Thornhill. This is where we're getting into the tasty ones, hopefully, guys. Three and a half star, James Thornwell, defensive midfielder, midfield centre. Oh, some good ones there. First touch, heading, bravery, aggression. He's exactly what I think he was going to be. All his tackling is pretty cool. He's seen as a ball winning midfielder. Some very good mentals there, and I will take him on. See what kind of contract we can offer him. £80 per week. Done deal. James Thornhill will join my team. So we've got a left back. Adam Wynn, 15 years old. Oh, some okay physical, some okay mental. Technically, he's not the best. Again, cross and dribbling, very poor. But he's got decent pace, decent stamina. I don't know, just... I just want a full back with some decent cross and decent dribbling. I'm going to take him and I'm going to just add him to my youth squad. Nothing more. Because a lot of them will, of course, be leaving after this season. So, Thomas Frad, he's a midfield centre, attacking midfielder. Four stars. These are the best ones. The next four, five players are four stars. So, let's have a look. Some decent physicals there. Mentals are okay. He doesn't really offer much technically. As an advanced playmaker, I kind of want him to be better on the passing, better on the long shots, dribbling, stuff like that. In fact, for what his position says he is, that is pretty poor to be fair. I just offered him a youth contract. So attacking midfield centre, Jake Wright, 15 years old. Shadow striker, dribbling 11, first touch 13, passing 11, determination 13, composure 12. I'm pretty happy with this one. He is somebody I'll take on, pretty sure. That's a position I don't really use that much, guys, shadow striker. I'm more of a Tracartista fan, shall we say. Jody Hotchkiss, an attacking midfield left. 15 years old, 4 star. Yes. This is more like it for a 15 year old. 13 dribbling, first touch 11, passing 11. Aggression, composure, determination, leadership, teamwork, work rate, all good. But that pace of 16 with dribbling of 13, that makes me want to sign him. It's crossing 9, it's not too bad. Natural fitness 16, physicals are excellent. He's coming in, no doubt. Again, personality unambitious. What is that? 15 years old, getting offered a contract by a full time team in League One, but you are unambitious. Shocker. But you're coming in. Look forward to using him. The next one is attacking midfield right. It's Tom Proctor, 16 years old and a four star. Oh, pretty decent as well. A wide target man. He's fairly determined, which is pretty good. Left footed, but he likes to play on the right. 
dribbling a 14, first touch 11, cross 11, determination 17, and some really good physicals. I will take him on. I never actually used the white target man either, to be fair. So the last one, a defensive midfielder, midfield centre. 15 years old, 4 star, with potential to be 5 star, Lee Marshall. Fingers crossed that he's an absolute diamond. Come on. Ooh. Advanced playmaker. He's fairly professional. He's right footed and an enthusiastic midfielder. He's got a bit of the old Catrado hairdo on the go. First touch of 14. Determination 14. Technique 12. Teamwork 15. Work rate 16. Stamina 12. Balance 13, natural fitness 13. He looks okay, and I will take him on. As a hot prospect. So, really, the idea of these players is to sort of sign, take me on, help me get up the leagues, of course, but when you're the team in League One or even the Championship, it's no doubt if teams come calling, you're probably going to have to sell. Or it's going to come to the point where the board will take over the deal and sell them for you. Because that's what they feel like is a good price. So, that's really it guys. That's the region reveal. It was quite good. There's a few decent ones there that I will get into the team. Now, as you can see here, we'll do one final plug before I say goodbye. The logos, the backgrounds, the faces, the stadiums, everything you see, the skin, the kits, everything you see guys, all graphics are available to download from footballmanagercentral.com, a sports affiliate, sports interactive affiliate, run by my good friend Paul, check out the site, download stuff, there's plenty of the WizKids content on there, check out our football manager page, the football manager WizKids, and our Twitter page, at the FM WizKids, and of course our YouTube channel, which is run by myself, the Football Manager Waste Kids. And there's a lot of Football Manager content. There's pretty much all Football Manager content. A little bit of FIFA goals, but that's it. Thanks, guys, for checking out the Regen Reveal. Journey to the top, Crew Alexandra. Thank you. <laughs>